The two hour barrier, a time frame forever burned into our minds as a standard of nearly impossible greatness over the marathon. This relentless standing obstacle was something that nobody ever thought would fall for close to a century until it finally did. In October of 2019, the great Elliot Kipchoge from Kenya took to the streets of Vienna, Austria to go after this monster of a time. At two hours or 120 minutes, Kipchoge would need to run each mile of this marathon in four minutes and 33 seconds, and he would need to run each kilometer in two minutes and 50 seconds. And even though this was an absolutely unheard of achievement for the previous generation, Kipchoge actually did it. With the help of rotating pacers, a novel electric car pacing system, perfect conditions, and a nearly perfect course, Kipchoge stampeded through the streets of Vienna with nearly flawless execution. And with a finishing time of one hour, 59 minutes, and 40 seconds, he achieved the impossible, breaking this barrier for the very first time in glorious fashion. This 2019 accomplishment captivated the entire world, and it easily placed Kipchoge as the one and only greatest of all time in the marathon. In tandem with this new sub two hour clocking, he also has earned two Olympic titles to his name, 11 major marathon wins, and two official world records over his decade long career in the marathon. And even though it really did seem as though nobody on the planet would ever have the capacity to approach him, we're actually seeing someone else rapidly rise to his level, and this man, is Kelvin Kiptum. Like a meteor crashing into Earth, Kiptum hit the marathon scene in glorious fashion, breaking two hours and two minutes for his marathon debut in Valencia. And then for his second marathon, he somehow did it again, running the second fastest marathon in history in the 2023 London Marathon, crossing the tape in two hours, one minute, and 25 seconds, a time that he achieved with a final half marathon in 59 minutes and 45 seconds, which to this day is the single fastest half marathon split in marathon history. It's truly difficult to fathom just how fast this actually is, but the more and more that you watch this man run, you realize that Kelvin Kiptum is just built different. In just a few days, Kiptum is set to run in the 2023 Chicago Marathon, only his third marathon of his very short career. And despite his inexperience in comparison to the great Kipchoge, Many are already calling for a world record, but can he actually do it and become the new marathon world record holder at just 23 years of age? Well, many think that this is the inevitable future for the marathon. In a recent interview with The Nation, Kiptum stated that I have finished my training program and I'm headed to Chicago, confident of doing well and registering good results. My target here is to run a course record, which has been in existence since 2013, and I know if we compete well, we can achieve that. He also stated that I started preparing for this race in June, and it went on gradually from loading to very vigorous training. I would train alternatively between Shipcorio and Cario Valley to benefit from two climatic conditions that these two places offered. Now, Kiptum does appear very fit, and his chances of winning this race are certainly high, but he will also have to battle against a very strong field that includes a total of nine athletes that have broken two hours and six minutes. And the reality of this race is that they will all be targeting Kelvin Kiptum. In this field, we have Bashir Abdi, a 2021 Olympic medalist. We have Benson Kipruto, a very successful marathon major runner. Dawit Walde from Ethiopia, another sub two hour and six minute athlete. And we also have another familiar face from Brazil, Daniel Donacimiento, who just might make this race extremely interesting, given what he did in the 2022 New York City Marathon. Now, for this 2022 race, Dinesh Miento went absolutely crazy for the first half marathon, running well ahead of anyone else in this field and running pretty much world record pace for the first half, which, given that the New York City Marathon has a steady rise for the first mile, this is practically unheard of. Now, his early pace was absolutely insane, and he even threw in a 4 minute and 20 second mile during his opening few miles. Now, yes, he did fall pretty hard over the final stages of this race, as his hot early pace and the high temperatures on the day ultimately took him off the course with less than 10k left to run. But this was still quite the impressive showing, even though he did not finish. It's also worth mentioning that Dinesh Amiento and Kelvin Kiptum have been seen training together multiple times, either running longer runs or on the track running speed work. So perhaps there is some behind the scenes communication going on where they will be working together to run a very quick time. If we do in fact see a very quick start in this year's Chicago Marathon, plus potentially seeing Kiptum throw down his classic negative splits over the second half, 
I think there's a real shot that Kiptum is not only set to break the course record, but he very well could attack the world record once again. Now, the reality is that Chicago just hasn't resulted in super quick times, at least on the men's side for the previous few decades. In fact, the current course record only stands at 2 hours, 3 minutes, and 45 seconds, set by Dennis Cometo back in 2013. This time only ranks as the 39th fastest performance of all time, but Kiptum certainly appears ready to break this course record. It is certainly worth reiterating that Kiptum is still only 23, but despite his youth and racing inexperience, his assault on the marathon world record has been legendary. To this day, he has only ever broken 2 hours and 2 minutes over the 26.2 mile distance, something that only two other athletes have ever done. But what really makes his potential so high in this year's Chicago Marathon is certainly his negative split capabilities. In London, he opened his first half in 1 hour, 1 minute, and 40 seconds, a very solid time for the opening half. However, as we previously mentioned, he ran his second half in 59.45 with a 13.49 5K thrown in from the 30K split up to 35 kilometers. This 13.49 is the equivalent to an overall pace of 4 minutes and 26 seconds per mile, or 2 minutes and 45 seconds per kilometer, a historic tempo thrown in after such a quick opening stage. And this really breaks all molds of possibilities as to what we thought was realistic in the marathon, and if he can simply reiterate what he has already shown he can do, we very well could see yet another sub 2 hour and 2 minute clocking for Kelvin Kiptum. Now beyond just a good race and good fitness moving in, many more factors will certainly need to be present for a marathon world record to go down, and at the moment at least, many of these factors are in fact lining up. For Sunday's race, the temperature is scheduled to be right around 45 to 47 degrees Fahrenheit at the start, a nearly ideal racing temperature. There is practically no chance of rain, there should be some cloud coverage, and even though all of these are certainly positives for the marathon, there is one factor that could be a significant negative, and that factor is the wind. At the moment, the wind does have a chance to be highly influential against a new marathon world record, and at the moment, it's scheduled to be blowing right around 10 miles per hour throughout the entire race, with gusts even reaching around 20 miles per hour at times. Now, this isn't too much of a surprise given that Chicago is known as the Windy City, but the only positive that might come from this is that the wind is scheduled to be blowing to the southeast, from around around 10k to around 30k, the course is aligned straight south, so perhaps there could be a positive influence from the wind instead of negative. With only historic times on his resume, a pretty solid training block behind him, and now another shot at marathon history, what time do you think Kiptum will attain in this year's Chicago Marathon, and do you think the world record is finally set to go down, transitioning from Elliot Kipchoge to Kelvin Kiptum? Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time. Thank <laughs> you.